As businesses race to adopt AI, the security landscape is shifting faster than ever before. This new frontier exposes vulnerabilities in existing systems and presents new challenges for compliance, data governance, and securing critical business data. Hey everybody, I'm Victor Neimeyer, Director of our Workplace Solutions team here at SoftChoice, and today I'm going to talk about how AI and platformization are transforming security, what that means for your organization as you manage evolving threats and a growing skills gap in cybersecurity. Today we're going to cover a few areas. First, how AI is exposing gaps in security postures. Second, the challenges posed by the growing cybersecurity skills gap. And third, how soft choices solutions help simplify your security operations through platformization, making them more effective and manageable. Now, AI isn't just transforming how businesses operate. It's also exposing security vulnerabilities that may have gone unnoticed. The ability to leverage AI to gain valuable insights comes with the added responsibility of safeguarding the data that powers these systems. Now more than ever, protecting your organization's most valuable data and ensuring compliance with industry standards are critical priorities. One of the biggest obstacles that organizations are facing today is the growing cybersecurity skills gap. There are currently more than 3 million unfilled cybersecurity roles worldwide, which means companies are often operating with understaffed security teams. This shortage creates a perfect storm where both threats are growing and there are fewer skilled professionals to address them. Our solution, the Data Security Quick Start from Microsoft 365 Copilot, addresses both the growing threat landscape and the skills gap. It's designed to provide an adaptable governance process that protects AI-related data while ensuring compliance with your organization's security standards. This solution is built on Microsoft Purview, which enables robust data security and governance in your environment. By leveraging Purview's capabilities, we design and deploy policies tailored to your specific data protection needs. Let's break down a few of the core features. First, data classification and encryption. Protect your cloud data by classifying sensitive information and applying encryption standards to secure it. Second, data lifecycle management. Implement data retention labels and policies to ensure data is stored, archived, or deleted according to your compliance needs. Third, compliance policies for e-discovery and auditing. Enable comprehensive policies that streamline e-discovery processes and ensure your organization is prepared for audits. Fourth, data loss prevention or DLP policies. Prevent the accidental or malicious sharing of sensitive information within your organization across email, teams, and other channels. And finally, SharePoint data access controls. Configure access and sharing permissions within SharePoint to prevent unauthorized data access or sharing. By implementing these data governance measures, you're laying the foundation for the Zero Trust framework. Specifically, this solution addresses the data pillar of Zero Trust by ensuring that sensitive information is appropriately classified, protected, and accessible only by those who need it. This framework not only safeguards your most critical data, but it can also be expanded across other areas of your business. Now, let's look at how these policies come together in a real-world scenario using Microsoft Purview to protect AI data in a Microsoft 365 environment. In this demo, we'll show how communication compliance policies and data loss prevention policies work in tandem to protect sensitive information such as AI-generated data. In this first example, an internal user attempts to share a file containing credit card numbers via email. Purview's data loss prevention policy has been configured to detect and block the sharing of sensitive information, such as credit card numbers. When the user tries to send the email, the DLP policy identifies the sensitive data and immediately blocks the transmission. The user receives a notification explaining that the content has been flagged for violating company data security policies. In the second scenario, the same user tries to bypass the email policy by sharing the sensitive information through a Teams chat. They copy the credit card data from a spreadsheet and attempt to share it in a Teams message. The same DLP policy extended to Teams detects the sensitive information and blocks the message. Additionally, the system sends an alert to the administrator and provides a policy link within Teams, allowing the user to report the message if it was incorrectly flagged. 
These automated responses ensure that sensitive data is protected across multiple communication channels, and administrators can quickly review and manage any flagged interactions. What's especially critical here is that these automated policies don't require constant manual oversight, meaning your security team could focus on higher priority tasks. By deploying Microsoft's Purview's DLP and communication compliance policies, we provide your organization with a flexible yet functional baseline that bridges the skills gap and enhances your overall security posture. Another significant challenge we've seen across many organizations is the issue of security tool sprawl. On average, businesses are using around 45 different cybersecurity tools to manage their environments. Depending on the size of the organization, this number can vary significantly. Some of our smaller customers may deploy 15 to 20, medium-sized businesses are in the 50 to 60 range, and our large enterprise customers may rely on greater than 100 of these tools. The problem with this approach is that many of these tools are best of breed products that often don't integrate well with each other. This fragmentation creates serious issues for security teams. It becomes incredibly difficult to manage and monitor threats effectively when data is siloed across multiple platforms. In fact, hackers often exploit this lack of integration, using it as a gateway to penetrate your network and applications. This is where we can help by simplifying and consolidating your security approach through platformization. In simple terms, platformization is the process of transforming multiple independent systems into a unified, interconnected ecosystem. For security, this means bringing together your disparate tools, hardware, and software into a single platform that provides seamless real-time threat detection and response across your entire IT environment. At SoftChoice, we apply platformization by consolidating your security tools using Microsoft's integrated security ecosystem. By doing this, we help streamline your operations, reduce complexity, and improve your ability to respond to security incidents in real time. More importantly, this approach helps drive overall outcomes for your organization by reducing inefficiencies and simplifying security management. To protect your people, data, and devices end-to-end, -end, we've developed our Zero Trust implementation solution. This is a modular offering that allows you to adopt zero trust principles at a pace that matches your business requirements without requiring large upfront investments or extended deployment cycles. This solution uses Microsoft security tools to maximize your existing investments, enabling you to consolidate security controls across data, identities, and devices. By unifying these areas into a single platform, you gain end-to-end -end visibility over your entire environment and address the challenges caused by security tool sprawl. Our modular approach addresses the growing cybersecurity skills gap by making it easier for your teams to manage the security framework without needing extensive expertise across multiple standalone solutions. It also minimizes the burden on your IT staff, allowing them to focus on strategic tasks instead of constantly juggling the disconnected tools. During this engagement, we start by assessing your current environment and identifying the most critical gaps. Then we implement zero trust controls that specifically address your top priorities. Depending on your needs, we can either deploy controls for a single pillar, such as data or identity, or we can implement the full zero trust solution across all three pillars. Here's what this might look like. First, data security and governance. We design and deploy data protection policies using Microsoft Purview. This includes setting up SharePoint Online permissions and managing sharing controls to ensure that sensitive data is only accessible by authorized users. Second, identity and access management. We implement policies using Microsoft Entra ID. This includes setting up conditional access, multi-factor authentication or MFA, and access reviews to secure your identities. Third, endpoint security, where we deploy Defender for Endpoint or Defender for Servers to protect your devices from potential threats. This ensures that your endpoints are continuously monitored and protected against vulnerabilities. By applying these controls, we help you move toward a zero trust framework which minimizes the risks associated with security tool sprawl and provides comprehensive protection for your organization. Now let's look at a specific example from the identity pillar of Zero Trust, conditional access with Microsoft Entra ID. Conditional access is a powerful tool that allows you to apply tailored security policies based on specific conditions, such as the device being used, the location it's being used from, or the type of application accessed. One common use case is securing access to sensitive production data or applications by requiring the device to meet certain compliance standards. 
For example, you could require that devices accessing sensitive data must adhere to Intune compliance policies or originate from a trusted network location, such as your corporate office. If these conditions aren't met, the policy would require multi-factor authentication from the user. We can also configure session controls that prompt users to re-authenticate after periods of inactivity. Another highly effective conditional access policy is blocking access to company resources if the device is not compliant. We'll use Microsoft Intune to define a device's compliance status. From there, we will use a conditional access policy from Intra ID to block a user that is trying to access resources on a non-compliant device. Let's take a look at how this works in our demo environment. First, we're going to configure this Intune policy. There are a variety of compliance settings configured for device health, required operating system, as well as system security settings, such as firewall status and defender antivirus status. Now, let's switch over to the Intra portal to access our conditional access policies. Looking at our list of conditional access policies, let's open up the Enforce Compliant Devices policy. In our scenario here, we're targeting a very specific user, Christy. Also in place is an explicit exclude for an administrator account, considered a break glass identity for this environment. Under target resources, we want to apply this policy to all cloud apps. Now, to get more granular, let's move down to the conditions section. And here we have a lot of options, but we're going to focus on the device platforms filters. Since we're targeting only Windows OS platforms, we make sure to include those and explicitly exclude all other platforms. Lastly, we head down to the access controls section. Our logic here states that we will grant access to the user, but with a requirement of having the device be marked compliant. Now that we have all the policies set up, let's take a look at how it affects Christie's session on her Windows 10 device. Christy is going to attempt to log into her Office 365 apps via the Edge browser by going to office.com. However, the Entra ID conditional access policy immediately steps in and prevents her from getting to the main office.com page. Her device is not compliant based on our Intune policy settings. Christy can furthermore access the Intune company portal, which was deployed by her IT team during the enrollment of the device into Intune. This will allow her to see why the device is non-compliant and what she needs to do to remediate this. By combining the power of Entra ID conditional access and Intune compliance policies, we were able to successfully prevent access to critical company resources from a non-compliant device. Now, I want to take a minute and recap what we've talked about today. We've shown how AI may expose gaps in your security posture and the challenges that come with a lack of available talent to fully staff your security teams. You've learned about the benefits of platformization and why a consolidated vendor strategy streamlines your operations and makes them more effective and manageable. Most importantly, though, you now know that SoftChoice has the solutions, expertise, and people to help you navigate this new world and give you the confidence that you're ready for whatever comes next. From everyone here at SoftChoice, I want to thank you for listening to this session today. I'd like to invite you to come by our booth here at the Partner Expo and meet with the rest of the SoftChoice team to learn more about our solutions and how we can put them to work for you. Looking forward to seeing you at the booth, and I hope you have a great Ignite. Thank you.